welcome to my channel if you're new and if you're not thank you so much for joining me again today so as you guys can see about today's title i'm going to be doing a get ready with me i think that's how you say it get ready with me uh, i'm gonna be showing you guys how i remove my makeup how i wash my face and all the products that i use to do that in order to keep my skin clear honey with wearing all this makeup so if you guys want to see how i get i'm ready please keep watching so first off these hair headbands that like hold your hair back out of your face are very important for me when it comes to washing my face um just because my hair tends to get in my face and stuff so um these are very important and then sometimes i'll take like a rubber band or a hair bow just to like really pull my hair out of my face if i really feel like i'm gonna be going in so that's what i'm gonna do now just like that um and then the first thing that i'm gonna do is remove my makeup i use these baby wipes kind of doesn't matter what kind you use um but i use baby wipes and i use my Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. Um, but of course, I'm gonna take my lashes off. This is like the best feeling in the world. Taking lashes off and taking a bra off, the best feelings. Ooh. I look different already. Um, But yeah, I wanted to do this kit already with you guys just because I get a lot of questions about how I take my makeup off and like my skincare and stuff like that so I wanted to go ahead and film it but sorry for the echo if this video is echoey it's because I'm filming my bathroom and the floors are hardwood so yeah but I'm just gonna take a little bit on a on a wipe and I start off with my lips first just because um, anytime I wear matte lips, I always feel more comfortable when I take it off. Like I feel like I can do everything else once I take my lip off. So that's what I'm gonna do first. lipstick was I wearing and I didn't have on anything and she oh my gosh she thought I was lying like I was like I don't have on anything on my lips like nothing is on my lips they're just this color they're just like pink and she was like uh uh I've never seen anybody um lips be the color of yours that wasn't like a white person and I'm like you sound ignorant like what are you talking about but and I had to tell her I was like the reason why your lips are not the color of mine. It's because you smoke black and mouth all day. Like, that's all she used to do. I'm like, girl, you cannot be out here smoking black and mouth and think that your lips are gonna stay light. She started smoking black and mouth when we were in middle school. I'm like, Ugh, how are you even doing that? Like, you have to be 18, you went to middle school. That's crazy. But yeah. So, um, once I'm done with my lips, I kind of work my way up to the rest of my face, as y'all can see. You can kind of see where the makeup is and where it's not anymore. So, I have no makeup down here anymore. It's literally like right here. This is where it is, right here. And then, y'all can see it. But, I don't know. I'm my makeup off. I would love to take my makeup off. Let me know down below in the comment section what products you guys use to take your makeup off because maybe I could try them if they're not like too harsh on the skin. I told you guys that 
Um, I just got my skin back together not too long ago after I had the biggest reaction to um, a skincare brand. And I don't even know if I wanna say who it was just because, I mean, it kinda doesn't matter. I feel like skincare is for, like different skincare products work for different people. Like some of the products that I use might not work for you. They might break you out. Some products that you use might break me out. I feel like everybody's skin is different, but my skin is extra sensitive. And I tried the Drunken Elephant products and y'all, if y'all watched my last video of the vlog, y'all saw the pictures that I put in the video of like how my skin looked. This man, this tore my skin up. Like, oh my God, I had never seen my skin look like that. I was so like embarrassed. When I would leave the house, I was like, ugh, let me put a hat on. And thank God we was wearing masks because girl, I looked a mess. But um, yeah, this is the Drunken Elephant products. This is the um, jelly cleanser. And then this is the polypeptide cream yeah these i can't use these like they're too harsh or something on my skin i don't know but like they really broke me out really bad so i can't use those um so i went back to my regular product that i've been using for years now uh i don't be having problems you know what i'm saying and they're inexpensive my products are inexpensive it's like Sometimes I be wanting to try higher end skincare products and even some higher end makeup, but it be breaking me out. And I'm just like, like, is my skin trying to say that she's very like low budget? Like, she's cheap. Like, whereas with my mom, my mom can't use cheap products. Like, makeup, she doesn't like it. Or should I say inexpensive? She doesn't like it. Um, so, and I feel like it's partly because of age. I feel like um, when you're younger, you can get away with wearing inexpensive products just because your skin is more plump and more fresh. But over the years, as you get older, you know, you start to age and like your skin, you start to get fine lines and maybe a couple of wrinkles and under eye bags and stuff just from like living you know um so she does not like inexpensive makeup she has to like go to sephora and get high-end products but i'm about to wipe this eye off and then i'll come back to you guys when it's time to wash the face so now to wash my face, I'm gonna be using my spin brush. I can't remember the name of this company that makes the brush, but I feel like any spin brush, they're all pretty much the same. And I'm gonna be using my oh so lovely charcoal facial detox by Destiny Boutique. You guys know this is my holy grail. And never does me wrong, you just gotta shake it up. And I like to wet my brush a little bit. And then I just put a little bit on the brush. And I get to spinning. To rinse my face off, I like to use um, warm water just because hot water is like not good for your skin. I prefer hot water, but um, it's not good for your skin. So I like to do a heavy medium because I don't like using cold water. Um, it's, I'm sure it's better for you, but I just prefer 
that medium, you know what I mean? So um, I like to rinse this off with warm water and then I do two splashes of cold water. You don't have to, it's just, I'm just telling you guys what I do. So I'm pretty sure I told you guys a long time ago that I liked drying my face off with paper towels just because you use that paper towel, you throw it away and your skin never touches it again. Um, I don't like using towels um, just because they carry bacteria. And you can bleach them of course, but are you gonna really wanna wash a towel, a whole towel every single time you wash your face, which is every day? I don't think you're gonna wanna do that. So I just use my uh, paper towel just because I'm not gonna use the same towel that I use on my body, on my face. I just don't like to do that. Um, so now that I'm done washing my face, I'm just going to go ahead and use my wish hazel just to tone my skin, okay? That's very important. So I just take a couple cotton balls and my witch hazel. Y'all have seen this a thousand times, I'm sure. I'm um, gonna just put a little bit on the cotton ball and I do half of my face. Once I'm done toning my skin, I like to take my oil. I used to use the Rose Rose Oil by Pearlescence, but then I came across this one. This is the Bio Oil Skincare Oil. And this one um, helps improve the appearance of scars and stretch marks, but it's really good for your face too because um, it evens out your skin tone, so. And it helps with aging, dehydrated skin. Um, yeah, so I just like to take a few drops of this on my hands. They're clean. Um, I always wash them before I start clipping my face. And then the last step that I do is I take my post makeup recovery spray by Scandinavia. Um, this one says gently clears pores and helps prevent breakouts. Use it immediately after removing makeup, but I use it right after I'm done doing my skincare. I don't rub it in, I just let it sit on my skin as you can see. And this is pretty much my get ready, like not get ready with me, get ready with me. This is how I take my makeup off, how I do my skincare. And it's just really simple. Mine is pretty much take off makeup, wash face, oil, spray. Four steps, four to five steps, very simple. Like it's not too crazy. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got a few tips from me on how I keep my skin really clear while wearing like makeup and stuff. Um, so yeah, I will do my best with leaving the links to all the products that I use down below in the description box. So check that out and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.